Prince Harry and Meghan Markle get absolutely humiliated at the Oscars. up everyone it's me steph the alter nerd your nerdy alternative and welcome to another dose of the daily nerd why break down the news and pop culture stories of the day that's pretty much caught me eye and oh my goodness yes how did prince harry and Meghan markle in my opinion conspiracy theory whatever get absolutely humiliated at the oscars Whoo, Hollywood is absolutely roasting and abandoning them now before i get into all the juicy who Hey details, there's a little bit of housekeeping. Firstly, YouTube human reviewer, I see you lurking. I'm not going to say any trigger words or anything that's going to offend your ear holes. And to everyone else awesome enough to have clicked on this video, hi, welcome, how you doing? If you love this kind of news and pop culture on the daily served with a little bit of sass and gobbiness, which is basically this, right? Do make sure you click on that subscribe button, like, share, Comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories and whatever's. Also as well, for your consideration, you can always send me a super thanks, which is just below this video right here. Let's have a conversation because it does guarantee a response from me. And oh yeah, let's jump into this one, shall we? So it starts off with the, I suppose... People wondering what was going to happen before the Oscars actually happened, really, with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. There were rumours that they were going to face potential humiliation at the Oscars uh, because, you know, as experts had said, they had opened themselves up to ridicule because what had happened... Well, first and foremost, beforehand, you had Saturday Night Live that had absolutely roasted Meghan Markle to filth lately. Uh, comedian Michael K, Michael Che, Michael Che, however you pronounce it, uh, apologies if I mispronounced it, uh, joked that Meghan was being offered $19 an hour to attend the coronation as a graphic of the Duchess dressed as a maid appeared behind him. Uh, so the, the, the joke was, oh yes, finally, Meghan Markle has been invited to the coronation for King Charles. Uh, but yeah, they're offering to pay a $19 an hour to show up. And do you know what? There's not a lot that I laugh at when it comes to SNL's humour. But that, I did chuckle a little bit. That did make me laugh quite a bit when I read it. The other thing that happened recently was Rebel Wilson. So she had gone on to Andy Cohen's Watch What Happens Live. She introduced her mother to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. And she says, look, we went up to Santa Barbara, met Harry, couldn't have been nicer. Cohen asked if she had met the couple before, to which Wilson said, no, we just had a mutual friend in common who was a polo player. She continued, but then Meghan was not as cool. Oh, Meghan wasn't as naturally warm, but then maybe my mum being Australian asked her all of these slides slightly rude questions like where are your kids and things like that i don't think that's rude i just think that's striking up a conversation between two mums as far as i'm concerned but okay um <laughs> wilson was like i was like mum don't ask her that and cohen suggested maybe that's why megan was a little standoffish wilson agreed and joked maybe that's why she was like who are these annoying convicts from australia but she did add that harry was lovely so this is the thing, right? You have more recently Saturday Night Live, Rebel Wilson, you know, some of the elite kind of Hollywood megawatts there completely trashing Meghan Markle, right? You then had, oh my goodness, a couple of weeks back, South Park with that epic genius episode of the Worldwide Privacy Tour, completely ripping those two apart. You then had, uh, one last week, but the week before, Chris Rock uh, with his comedy show live on Netflix where he absolutely roasted Meghan Markle to filth in relation to her racism claims against the royal family. And this then all leads up to the Oscars because, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, it's heavily rumoured that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle totally want to be part of the Hollywood elite. They just want to be... 
just appear and doors open for them, right? That kind of thing. Wow. Three years on from the move to LA. Ooh, their appeal is going down in LA. Royal expert is claiming that Hollywood is absolutely sick and tired of their lack of decorum in bombshell interviews. Uh, they're saying that America's infatuation with Hazard and Megzi has been fading and they haven't received the welcome that they had hoped for from Hollywood. So this is the thing, right? They, they thought, you know, move over to L.A., because of maybe their status and their links to royal family, they would be a shoo-in for the Hollywood elite, right? A Benny conspiracy theory, whatever. But guess what? It didn't work out, did it? Oh, no, 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 no. And guess what? They were nowhere to be seen at this year's Oscars, were they? And the article here says Harry and Meghan's lack of attendance may be understandable, but there's a growing perception that Hollywood is falling out of love with them. Kinsey Schofield, host of the To Die For podcast, recently told Fox News Digital, I do think that Harry and Meghan expected more support from Hollywood than they've recently received, because what support have they got from Hollywood at the moment? Well, they, they, they weren't at the Oscars, and if they got invited, oh, you know, opinion conspiracy theory, whatever they were going to be there, if they got an invitation, right? But that didn't happen. Rewind back a couple of weeks ago. One of their supposed bezies, Oprah, right, has a birthday party in conjunction with Anastasia Be Beverly Hills. Where were Hazard and Megzi? Now, as a Megzi turns around and says, oh, no, we didn't go to the birthday party because we didn't want to, you know, distract away from us just being there, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, they were more than happy to attend um, Ellen's renewal vowel wedding ceremony with Patricia de Rossi. So, <laughs> you see where I'm coming from here? Uh, Royal commentator continued, I think Harry and Meghan had an amazing opportunity to elevate themselves and actually be Hollywood royalty. I do agree with that. But their decorum is making people think twice about the association, right? So they're nowhere to be seen at this year's Oscars, right? Absolutely nowhere. They weren't even, you know, on, on the face of it, invited to Elton John's Oscar viewing party that he has every year that he holds to raise funds for his AIDS foundation. They weren't there. They could have been invited and maybe not gone, but might have been because Boozy do whatever. If they were invited, they would have proper been there, as far as I'm concerned. Like, proper been there, right? So, the first Oscars humiliation when it comes to Hazard and Megzi is the lead up to the Oscars, they are absolutely trashed by the Hollywood elites, right? You've got South Park, you've got Chris Rock, you've got Rebel Wilson, you've got SNL, right? Trashing them, completely roasting them. No one wants anything to do with them. They are nowhere to be seen at the Oscars. They aren't invited, as far as I can tell, because they're not there. Whoo, okay. Then the Oscars themselves. It was heavily rumored that they were going to be absolutely trashed on the Oscars, right? That there were going to be a couple of jokes here and there at their expense. But guess what? It were crickets, right? Here's the second humiliation, in my opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, from the Oscars. They are not relevant. They're that not relevant that they weren't even mentioned at the Oscars as a joke by Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel joked about um, the Will Smith, Chris Rock situation from last year. He joked with Malala. He had the donkey. He had the bear, the cork bear. There were so many jokes happening. One of the most obvious would have been Hazard and Megzi, but it were like that. It's like they're not even relevant anymore to even be trashed, to be joked about on the Oscars. They are completely done. So, 
Second humiliation at the Oscars. They weren't even mentioned, guys. No jokes, no nothing. They're not even that relevant for even a little joke at the Oscars. Guys, do you know what? What do you think to my logic there, right? Am I off base? Am I on base? Am I kind of in the middle? You tell me. And if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, there's going to be more. Do make sure you click on that subscribe button. Help us get to 100k so we can get that silver play button right there. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever's on this one. Also, as well, for your consideration, you can always send me a super thanks, which is just below this video right here. Let's have a conversation because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys. Laters.